In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of an object to be whatever color you want. So in this case, we have this yellow dress. We can change it to be any color on the color wheel. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just have our original image open and it's going to want to be a photo where you can select the object pretty well. So in cases like this, you can do something like the quick selection tool on your left hand side in the toolbar. If you click and hold down here, you can find the quick selection tool. You can make sure you're working on add to selection mode. Choose a brush that's big enough to work with. And on your layer, you can click and drag out. If it does have clean lines like this one in good contrast, then you should be able to create a selection that works pretty well. Now I'm going to zoom in by holding command and pressing plus on the keyboard and we can kind of get in some of those areas that we missed. And you also don't want to overextend. If you happen to overextend, you can either undo with command Z or use the subtract from selection mode to subtract parts out. So in this case, it wasn't too difficult. If you want, you can go in there with other tools such as the polygonal lasso tool on add to selection mode and you can try to fill in some areas that were too hard to quick select. And there are other ways to select objects as well. If you ever double click, that'll close out a selection that you have. Once you have your selection that you're happy with, you can press select and mask on the top here. And this will give you a couple more tools to even refine your edge a little bit more so you don't have to go crazy with the lasso or other touch-ups. If you ever brush in a section, you can kind of refine the edge just by brushing in that section. You can also subtract from a section just like previously. You can subtract out and try to refine the edge that way. And you have this menu on the right hand side as well. You can just use a quick refining mode, just like increase the radius of the edge detection. You can shift the edge outward or inward and smooth it out. And this gives you a, a, a bit more flexibility as well to kind of soften up some of those edges and, and automatically detect the shadows. But once you press OK, you should have your selection loaded up. And what I'm going to do with this selection is click on this little adjustment layer button at the bottom. And we're going to create a new hue saturation adjustment layer. And since we had our selection loaded up, it automatically created a layer mask in this adjustment layer where the white is what's going to be affected and the black is what's not going to be adjusted. So in this case, I can simply slide the hue wheel over and we get a difference of color. Now, sometimes when you switch from a bright yellow to something like a green or blue, it, it's a little too vibrant. It's, it's a little too much. So you can do things like lower the saturation a bit if you want. I wouldn't suggest lowering the lightness much because then it just kind of looks fake like black or white. But another thing you can do to blend this in a bit better is using blending modes. So I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer from normal to something like color. And if you want, you can load up that selection again. So I'll press command. I'll hold command and I'll click on that layer mask. It'll load up that selection again. And if I want, I can click and create a new layer mask again. This time, perhaps do something like levels and I can adjust the levels. So here's where I can make the contrast look a bit, a little bit more realistic. So when you do switch from a yellow to a green, you might need some different contrast involved. Another thing you can do is lower the opacity of that hue saturation layer just to kind of blend it back in a tiny bit with the original color again. This might change your color a little bit, but you can get some more realistic shades by blending and adjusting in this way. Each photo is going to be unique. For example, on this photo, some of that bright yellow is, is reflecting on her arm. And one thing I can try is grabbing my brush tool, getting a pretty large soft round brush, and then just kind of getting the feathered edge of that brush to fill in this mask so that it affects a little bit of her arm, but you don't want to get it to the point where you're starting to do unnatural things like making the, the skin pink or something. So you have some different options and flexibilities with these tools, but this is a basic workflow 
or changing the color of an object in Adobe Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, my name is Justin Odisho. You can find hundreds more on the playlist in my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.